Wren had led the league early on in the season, but needed to rediscover that winning feeling at Roseanne Park against Bresse on Friday night. Les Rouges et Noirs without a win in three in the French top flight, as well as only one point from a possible six in their debut Champions League campaign. Bresse then a welcome Breton derby, as the visitors with just one win in six on the road, Julien Stéphane hoping to point the way to victory as Olivier D'Olio aimed to be the first Brest boss to win at Rennes since 1987. Stéphane was certainly the happier of the two early on as his podium chasing side took the initiative. Terrific effort from Martin Thierry. One goal so far this season but yet to score at Roazan Park. Del Castillo was causing troubles down the right flank and elected to take it on himself. Although only the side netting of Gauthier Larsonneur's net. Well, both meetings last season ended in goalless affairs. In fact, four of the last six in the top flight ended in stalemates. No Eduardo Camavinga in the matchday squad as Ryan continued to struggle on two fronts at home and on the continent. Press failing to threaten at all and started the day only three points clear of the bottom three. And yet three minutes shy of the hour mark, they finally find a breakthrough. Franck Honora, too strong for teenager Jeremy Doku. And eventually came back to the Saint-Étienne signing. Fine finish. And Alfred Gomez may have felt he could have done better. Honora adding to the winner against Lorient in a 3-2 win. Decent strike, but Gomez will be disappointed. And yet it was defensive stalwarts that brought Ren back into it. Damien De Silva with his third of the season, just one shy of his best tally in his final season with Caen. The captain leading the way. And in 13 minutes, it was three goals scored. Neyev Agar with a stunning header to even top that of his captain. A third goal as well for Agar. Both centre-backs now with the same goal tally. Seru Gerasi up top. Well, Terrier tried his luck once again, although his effort straight at Le Sonner. The ex-OL winger was then robbed in possession. Roman Favre Moving the ball on to Steve Meunier and finding Jeremy Le Duaron. A fine save from Gomis. And this time on the follow up, Honora only winning a corner. The well, centre backs had brought Rennes the lead, but Girassi should have been back to top scorer alone for the club. But what a save from Lassonne. His outstretched hand keeping Bresse in it. He then saved from sub Adrian Unu. But in the end, it wasn't enough as Rennes had the perfect pick-me-up as they remain in the podium in third ahead of the first of their doubleheader with Chelsea travelling to London on Wednesday while Brest licked their wounds down in the bottom half of the table.